Hi everyone, I am Ruth from Reconvert and I am very excited to make this video to announce our newest, very exciting feature. This feature has just been released today. You can already see it in your stores. And if you've been hanging out in our Facebook group, you might have heard of it already because we were looking for beta testers and a lot of people were very excited for it. So what this feature is, is the Magic Designer. Now, Magic Designer, it sounds kind of whoopy and unclear. So let me explain exactly what it does and how it works. Up until now, if you added a new widget or a pop-up or anything in the app, you had to manually customize everything, starting from the color of the button, the color of the text, the font, everything would have to be customized by you so that it actually looks good on your thank you page and fits your store's colors. From now on, that is no longer necessary. The Magic Designer automatically takes your display settings from your checkout settings in your Shopify theme and applies them to any widget on the thank you page. Another really amazing thing that this new feature does is actually let you know whenever there are new changes in your theme so that you can go in to your thank you page template and sync the changes with your existing Shopify theme so that you never get inconsistencies between your Shopify theme and your thank you page because we do not want that to happen. And lastly, with Magic Designer, you can see real time on the thank you page builder your new settings. So if you've changed your background color on your Shopify uh, store thank you page, you will actually see it on the Magic Designer. You will see your store's checkout language on the page builder, everything will look exactly as it should on the actual thank you page. So let's see what it looks like, how it works and what you need to do. Spoiler alert, you don't need to do a lot. I'm in the reconvert dashboard. And as you can see, I have this new little message up here, letting me know that there is some changes in my Shopify theme. Now, since the magic designer have just been rolled out, any of you going into your store will see this, whatever or not you've made changes to your theme, because we wanna make sure you have the opportunity to do the first syncing process with your theme. If you've set up your thank you page correctly, there's not going to be a lot of changes, but either way, what I need to do is go to the page builder. And as you can see, I have my thank you page builder here and a new message here about theme updates. I can choose to dismiss this message. And if I do that, no changes will be made to my thank you page, or I can choose to sync it. Now, don't worry if you choose to sync the changes, it doesn't automatically save and you will have the chance to review everything and decide if you want to save it or not. As you can see, looking in my thank you page, there are not a lot of differences because I have a very standard thank you page in my store. I didn't change any of the background colors and my store is in English. So everything looks pretty good just as it did before. I already made sure to change all of the button colors to fit my store. But if I click sync changes, again, there are not a lot of changes done after I clicked sync because I've already made sure to do all of the uh, customization that I needed manually. The big deal here is that you no longer need to do it manually. So I can go through everything, see if anything changed, not a whole lot has changed. And you have the option to undo the changes or just close this message and save. So I'm gonna just save my template. Now let's add a new widget so you can see what it actually means, this magic designer and how much easier it is going to make your life. I'm gonna add a new widget, let's say a uh, product recommendations widget, even though I already have one in my store. Okay, you can see in the right section, my product recommendations is added here. And as you can see, all of the colors are already synced. This is pretty amazing. My arrows, my buttons, my quick view. When I go to quick view, it actually looks the same as it does in my online store. This is pretty amazing because you no longer have to go through everything and customize it. You can customize the text. You can change the colors of the buttons and everything if you want to, but you don't have to. So I'm gonna delete this because I already have a widget like that on my store. Now that we've seen what adding a new widget looks like, let's have a look at the things that changed a little bit when it comes to the thank you page builder in reconvert. So I'm going to go to the header now. And one of the biggest changes is actually for the header. 
let me just move myself a little bit. As you can see here, you can still add an image that will override your checkout image in Shopify. In this case, I didn't want to do it because I like my checkout image and I can already see the header here. Now, depending on the direction that you chose on your theme builder in Shopify, your header and links will show either to the left side, to the right side, or will show in the middle. If you recall, if you've used this feature before, you used to have here the option to choose if you want the header to be full width or only on the left side. We've removed this option because you simply don't need it anymore. From now on, we take it directly from Shopify and you can set up full width there if you choose to put the header in the middle of the page. Now you can still choose to align the header in different locations. So for example, right now it is aligned center and I can choose to align it left. As you can see, it works okay and it takes all the links with it. But by default, we take your Shopify settings and apply them to the thank you page because again, we want everything to look universal. We don't want your customers to think they've moved to a new uh, website. So this is as far as the header goes. I'm gonna save everything. And I wanna take you through actually creating a new template from one of our pre-made templates. Let's go back to the dashboard. As you can see, I've already synced all the changes and the message has disappeared from here. It's not gonna stay there always. It's only going to be shown if you've just made changes to your theme that require widget changes. Now I'm gonna add a new template from the free templates that we offer. Let's do the conversion master. As you can see, I've added the conversion monster and everything fits my store settings. So basically I just added in one click the conversion monster uh, template and I don't need to do anything. All I have to do is publish this template. Now you can, if you want, choose one of our pre-existing templates and play around with it, change it, maybe change the text, maybe add some more widgets, remove widgets that we've added to the pre-made template. But the point is if you really wanna just set up the app in a few simple clicks, and go and not think about it anymore, from now on you can. You don't even need to change the colors. Of course, if your store is not in English, you will have to change the text so it fits your language, but that's the only thing. Everything is ready for you. Now, this is pretty good news for anyone who's looking for the do it for me method, set everything up for me and let me see conversions. You can choose whatever template you want according to your goal in your thank you page. We know the app offers a lot of options and sometimes it can be overwhelming when you're just starting out, which is exactly why we built this pre-made template. We want you guys to have an easy way to start and from there on, optimize it as you see fit. Now, I just wanna go through very quickly the kind of changes that you need to sync manually and the kind of changes that sync automatically. Let's jump in to the Shopify theme editor so we can go through these things. The only relevant settings for the thank you page are actually in the checkout section. So I'm gonna to go to checkout, theme settings. And here, again, I'm gonna move my picture a little bit. Here you can see all of the settings that somehow affect the thank you page and reconvert. You can add a logo like we did here. You can decide the position and the logo size and reconvert will automatically take these changes and apply them to the thank you page. And as you can see for the left and right section, we have the main contact area, content area and the order summary. So the main content area is the left side and the, the order summary is the right side. You can choose a background image and a background color as well as the color of the form fields. So we have form fields here. You can't really see it because my background is white, but they can either be white or transparent. Now the default is white and so it is in reconvert. All of your form fields will be white unless you choose transparent, in which case the form fields in reconvert will also be transparent. Let me just show you what it looks like on a not white background. Let's just change it to something. Okay, obviously I'm not gonna save that to my store because it looks pretty bad right now, but just to get an idea, we have white form fields here. All of the input fields, the form fields that your customers can use are actually white. And if I turn it transparent, then all of these fields turn transparent. It doesn't apply to this specific field because this is actually something that we've added with an external script. So Shopify don't control it. 
but all of your form fields are transparent. It is also applied here in the right section. So what does that mean? That means that from now on, if you choose transparent, your reconvert form fields will be transparent. And if you choose white, they will be white. So notice that and check it out on your thank you page and see that it looks the way you want it to look. Uh, if you choose all the default colors from Shopify and you keep it with the white, it's not going to be a big difference. Just make sure that it looks the way you want it to look. I'm going to move everything back to the way it was. Now, the same thing also applies to the right side. The form field uh, actually controls both sides, but you can also choose a background image or background color for the right side. And your fonts, which we automatically take in reconvert, your colors, accent buttons, and errors, again, we automatically take in reconvert. That's basically it. These are all the settings you can do for your checkout. Now, why do you need the manual sync? Why don't we just take all of the fonts and all of the colors automatically? We do want to give you the control over the widgets. If you want to change the widgets colors and text and fonts to be different than the rest of your checkout settings, you can do that, which is why we don't automatically sync everything. Whenever you change the background color, it will be automatically synced because this is the color that comes directly from Shopify. But we do want to give you the option to just go on the page builder, see what it looks like and decide if you want to change something else in the widgets. If you change your button colors, we don't automatically change it in the widgets. Buttons that are related to Shopify, like the continue shopping button will automatically be changed, but buttons that are coming from reconvert and not from Shopify will not be automatically changed. So the important thing is if you are changing button colors, background colors, fonts, anything, just go to the reconvert page builder, click the sync button and see that everything looks okay. Now, before we finish this video, one last disclaimer that I want to give you guys is what happens if you change themes. So basically, even if you change your store's active theme, we actually know that and we give you the option to sync the changes to the thank you page. But since each theme is different, in some themes, we actually don't see all of your color changes. The code behind each theme is a little bit different and sometimes it is hard for reconvert to recognize exactly what changes you made. So what we recommend doing is if you change uh, to a new theme, first thing you need to do is actually go to the theme and change some of the colors. Now, for most people that goes without saying, when you publish a new theme, you change the button colors to fit your store, the background, whatever you need. So just make sure you do that, save the theme. And once you do, reconvert can actually recognize that you've published a new theme and take all of the changes automatically for you. So this is it as far as the magic designer goes. The goal of this new feature is to make it more comfortable and easier for you to set up your thank you page. We want to give you a full solution that lets you create things in one click with no extra work needed. If you want to change buttons, colors and text, you can do that manually, but automatically we will do it for you so you can sleep tight at night and know that your thank you page looks exactly like the rest of your store. We are more than happy to hear any feedback you have on this new feature. If you have any questions or comments or any improvement tips, we are available in the comments below on our Facebook group, via email, phone, whatever you want, you can contact us. We're always happy to hear from you and to hear your opinions. This is it for this video. Have a great day and have fun optimizing your thank you page with a few simple clicks.